Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm here to introduce you to one of our newest designs, this Memorial Bench. It's really easy to make. You can make it with just over half a sheet of material so it's very inexpensive as well. And it's really elegant and beautiful. I think you're really going to like it. There are a few different options included in the file. One of the options is you can choose to either make it with the individual slats like you see here, more like a traditional park bench, or you can choose to make it with more solid pieces like this. And a lot of people who choose to sublimate, this is going to be easier for them to do the solid pieces like this. So that's why we included that as an option. You can also choose to uh, include the cardinal on the top there. And of course, if you want it on the other side, you can just flip the piece around, whichever you prefer. But that's an option to use the cardinal or not to. And you can also choose to use the heart in the middle or not, whichever you prefer. Again, you can add names to either side to more personalize it. And of course, you can paint it uh, however you like. We have a copper and a silver here going on, but you can do whatever you like. I think you're really going to love this file. So let me walk you through first how the file works, and then I'll show you how to assemble it. All right, let's start like we always do by reading the instruction text first. You'll see right up here it says black equals cut, red lines equals score. So make sure that you score the red and cut the black. If you cut the red, you're going to be very sad. So make sure you follow those. And the slot size is 0.13 inches. So if you measure your material with your calipers and it's 0.13 or lower, you're going to be okay. But if it's higher than that, this file will not work for you and it's really not editable for something thicker because there's just not enough room around the slots to make them larger. So I wrote this in the description as well. So hopefully you read that first and then now you should measure your material and just make sure that it's going to fit before you get started. So let's go through all the pieces here. I'm going to turn these over. Uh, we have them put this way just to make it easier to conserve uh, material, but I want to show you how these are going to go together because it's very important. They only, only work one way, and if you do it the other way, like I always say, you're going to be sad. So there's these four sides, and as you can probably tell, the ones that have the red score lines are the ones that go on the outside of the bench, like, like this. Right here, they've got these score lines right there. And then the other ones without the score lines that have the slots in them are the insides that these slats go into. All right? So... That's probably pretty straightforward, but when you paint them, you don't really need to paint both sides unless you just want to. But you'll see that this piece right here go, uh, goes glues into uh, or glues together with this one, and this one glues together with this one, like that. So when you turn it over on one side, you can see the slots. On the other side, you don't see the slots. That's how those go together. When I did my first one, I wasn't paying attention, and I painted the wrong sides, and I had to paint them again. So just make sure you know what you're doing there. There'll be a, a side that has the scoring and a side that has the holes that go together like that. Should be pretty obvious. Go ahead and take a look at it before you paint it, and I think you'll catch on, all right? Then there's some other options here, all right? You've got four different options for the top piece. I'll hold it up here for the camera again. You've got the options for the piece that has the, the uh, cardinal, and then you can also do one without and then you've got a piece that has a heart in it and one without. So you'll see all of these options over here. So let's just assume you're going to use the one with the cardinal and with the heart. Uh, so we'll just move the rest of them out of the way. So these are the only pieces that you're going to need to cut if those are the options you've chosen. All right. And then you're simply going to cut all of these slots or all of these slats. And then these slats will go into each one of these slots right here. And I'm going to show you in the assembly video how I, how I put it together. Uh, it, it takes a, a moment to be a little patient uh, to be able to glue those in there, but it's not really that hard. So I will show you how I do it. But this is how the file works. I'll show you the flat pieces as well. Again, same thing, black equals cut, red equals score. And, and these, there's just a single long rectangle and a single long rectangle here. And then these are the uh, bench pieces that go in there. And then you have the option with or without the... Uh, cardinal on there but these are both really essentially the same uh, just one has slots and one has a solid piece so that's how the the pieces work in the file let's jump over and assemble it and I'll give you a couple of tips along the way there all right the first thing we want to do is go over all the pieces so we've got the four end pieces right here one two three and four 
and I'll show you what I was talking about earlier in the previous video, previous section. These two go together like this, all right? So when you have it correctly, you'll have slots on this side and scores on this side, just like that. That's how we're going to glue that together. Same thing with this side here. This is correct, just like that. Then you've got six slats for the bench, four slats, and the top piece for the top there, all right? So let's go ahead and start putting this together. I'm using Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. This is partially because I want it to be able to go together easily while you guys are watching, but it's also uh, nice to use sometimes to make things quicker, but you can use whatever you want. So let's start by gluing these two pieces together. So we'll glue the two ends, uh, the two sets of ends together. All right, so now we've got the ends glued together. So now we can just glue in the slats and we will be done. So what I do is I just take the, uh, the tip of the glue uh, here, just put little dots inside each one of these, just like that. And then I'll take each one of these pieces. Now it depends on how what you're using here. I like the look of the burnt MDF. So I'm gonna make sure that this burnt side is up. I don't really care for this side as much, but it depends on what finish your guys are going for. So I'll start at the top and I'll work my way around. I'm gonna skip the top because I want to put the, um, the cardinal in there. All right, so I'll just stick each one of these in here, hold it for just a moment, let the glue kind of grab. All right, and then I'll work through the top pieces or the back pieces as well. All right, now this is the part that may or may not be a little tricky for you. We'll see what happens with your glue. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more glue in these holes here. And the way that I like to do this, if I'm able, is to flip this over and to put all these pieces kind of one at a time into these slots. I've done this a couple times and sometimes the glue has done well and sometimes it has not, so we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna just flip it over like this and I'm going to then work these pieces into these slots on this other side, all right? So let me see if I can do this reaching out in front of the camera here. It's always a little bit challenging since I'm not actually directly over my pieces. So we'll see how I do here. All right, and there we are, along with my head bumping the camera and everything. Sorry about that, I hope it didn't make anybody seasick. Uh, but that's the challenge of doing this when I can't get my head over top of what I'm doing. But that's how it works. Really not that hard, just takes a little bit of patience. When you paint this, it's going to look fantastic. It can end up looking a lot like this. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'd love to see what you guys make. Let me know if you have any questions. But until then, we'll see you in the next one.